Please subscribe to my channel for more video. Please like and share. Here's maybe why Kylo Ren, the guy with the illogical lightsaber in Star Wars B.I.I., isn't Darth Kylo Ren. Why, if Kylo Ren is wielding a red lightsaber, is he not carrying the title of Darth? The red lightsaber. First, let's get the red lightsaber thing out of the way, because it's probably the only straightforward part of the problem. Before we start, if you don't know already, there's a few paths that Star Wars fans can't choose to take if they wish to follow what the heck's going on in the galaxy. After the train wreck of the second George Lucas trilogy, Star Wars got its mojo back with an excellent animated series, The Clone Wars, which ran for six seasons from 2008 and covered the adventures of Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi between the movie's Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sixth. It was dramatic, extremely well written and beautifully animated. One of the key characters is an assassin named Asajay Ventress. She has a desire to be Sith. And despite never getting there, she kills more than her fair share of Jedi with her twin red lightsabers. He's not a Sith. There's a good chance that Kylo Ren is not actually a Sith Lord, but the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor was an agent of Vader's and while trained in the dark side of the Force, was never considered a Sith. His job was to kill or convert any kids showing signs of being able to wield the Force, as well as any Jedi trying to train them. The Inquisitor was also the first new character name for the second major animated series Star Wars Rebels, which is placed between the movie's Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And he wield the red lightsaber. The glowing cross formed by Kylo Ren's blades look like a bit of a giveaway here, very inquisition like there are no Sith, Masters nor Apprentices. According to the Rule of Two Doctrine, Darth Vader was actually only a Sith Master for a few minutes after he tossed the Emperor. As the title could only be passed to the Apprentice who killed the Master, Vader was actually the Master for a few minutes, therefore he couldn't have had an Apprentice or could he? More on that later. So it's possible the Rule of Two lapsed with his death. Or, if you follow another path, you might be thinking the rule of two lapsed during the Emperor's reign, as he disbanded it in favor of his own rule of one. It's complicated. The Darth names are taken, hey, the Emperor. Yes, it's possible the Emperor is still alive. If Luke Skywalker can survive falling down the reactor shaft, so too can the most powerful Sith Lord of all. The Darth names are taken, B, Darth Maul. Even Darth Maul isn't exactly dead. Fans of Clone Wars will know that after being cut in half by Obi-Wan Kenobi, he somehow ended up living in a cave for 12 years, eating rats and going mad. In Clone Wars, Maul's brother eventually rescued him, his mentality was restored by a sorceress and his lower body replaced with prosthetic legs. Maul actually became quite powerful and caused all sorts of problems for Anakin and Obi-Wan, eventually killing the former lover of Obi-Wan. Their version which sees the Emperor sort of take Maul back under his wing actually, he kidnaps and tortures him and forces him back into his service. Regardless, Maul is incredibly powerful and was a ugly popular part of the Clone Wars storyline. And as all this happens before Return of the Jedi, Disney has given the green light for it to be part of the new trilogy's storyline. In May, it released a statement saying anything in the Star Wars canon after Return of the Jedi, such as the expanded universe storylines, could be dismissed and rewritten in the J.J. Abrams trilogy. So, theoretically, even Maul could make an appearance in V.I.I. But it's unlikely. The Darth names are taken, see, Starkiller. Okay. Now we're drawing a long bow. Actually, Vader did have a sixth apprentice whom he secretly trained without Darth Sidious's knowledge, Starkiller. Sadly, Starkiller died in a heroic act aboard the first Death Star, 
in much the same manner as Vader would aboard the new Death Star. But wait, wait, he was clothed by Vader and improved upon. There's a version of the Battle for Ender in which Starkiller, aka the Dark Apprentice, kills Princess Leia on top of the shield generator bunker. It's in the video game The Force Unleash 2 though, so well outside the canon used by Abrams. The Emperor, just before he brings Vader to his knees with Force Lightning, tells Vader he knows of his Dark Apprentice. If the Emperor is still alive, and the rule of two is reinstated, this could be the apprentice you're looking for. But the best, sketchy, reason we can give this theory some airtime is, well, he wears a hoodie like Kylo Ren's. 